The lines between celebrity and sport have been a little blurry ever since Posh got her manicured claws into Bex's golden balls. Ouch. And Ronaldo is the latest footy player to cross over into the realm of showbiz goss. Yesterday, we brought you Lisa's side of the story, but today we're hearing what Ronaldo had to say. So here's a replay of what went down when Lisa entered the Dragon's Den as the only non-sports reporter in a packed sports press conference. Sex bomb, sex bomb, you're my sex bomb. You can give it to me when I need to come along. Sex bomb, sex bomb, yeah. you're my sex bomb. And baby, you can turn me on. Turn me on, girl. Sex bomb, sex bomb, you're my... There he is, the world player of the year and Real Madrid's £80 million man. But let's face it, there's more to Ronaldo than his prowess on the pitch. He's been spotted having late-night liaisons with a certain heiress, he's fond of short shorts, and he takes metrosexuality to dizzy new heights that even Bex hasn't scaled. So as far as we're concerned, he's fair game. The world sporting press were there, BO Central by the way, to ask lots of boring questions about football. Uh, my league now is, is different. Trophies and awards to prepare very good and uh, to be fight with uh, Barcelona. And it's not easy, but you know, it's a great team, have a great players. Uh... What a snooze fest. But I managed to stay awake and not pass out from the stale locker room stench long enough to ask Ron the questions we really wanted answered. Hello, Cristiano. Lisa Cannon here from Expose in TV3, a little bit different to sport. Um, I wanted to ask you about your flamboyant style and sexy character on and off the pitch. As I can see there, you have lots of diamonds and lovely watches and so on and so forth. And I uh, wanted to know, are you trying to up David Beckham in the style stakes? And uh, if image is important to you when you're on the pitch and off the pitch? Well, it's always important to be a good image. Um, I I'm always try to copy my family, my sisters and my mum. Uh, but it's not possible. She's more beautiful than me. Uh, but I try. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's always important. You take, you take very good attention, eh? Yes, Cristiano. My attention to you is undivided, especially when you don those shorter-than-short shorts, which have had all the women in fever pitch, especially one. I certainly got Paris Hilton's attention, anyway. <laughs> Oh yes, yes, oh yes, look at that smile. Speaks a thousand words, but the little fun size shorts, does Paris still find them in her vocabulary hot? I like, okay. I like I have to small it. shorts, yeah, it's good. Oh yes, they are, but not as far as our sporting correspondents are concerned. I'm amazed that I escaped the ruins scathed. Fortunately, looks can't kill. Anyway, what some people didn't realise is that Ron was more than happy with our line of questioning as he revealed to his translator in Spanish. Le ha preguntado si le gusta, si, si, que tiene mucha atención. Ah, sí, le ha dicho que bueno, que, que presta mucha atención a lo que lleva. Que me gusta, que me gusta. <risa>